hello everyone welcome back to amy's channel yeah it's been a while but she's here now and she's gonna give you hot 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 you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> It's me, Amy. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Please, if you enjoy my content, do not forget to subscribe. Also, check out my other videos you might find this thing or two that would interest you. And for my returning subscribers, thank you. You know that I love you. Thank you for sticking with me, even through my days of absence. Thank you. I really, 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 really do love you guys. <sighs> it's been a while I made a sit down video. I feel so strange. Okay, 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 okay. So guys, today I'm going to, let's just say that today is some form of diary session, like I used to do. So let's call this diary session three. And today I'll be talking about a few things. So first of all, I don't know if many of you know the story of how I moved to Lithuania and how I'm here. Um, I made a video about it, but I'm just going to say it again. So, um, up until this time last year, I was still in Nigeria, but I knew I was going to come to Lithuania. So sometime early last year, there was this program called Digital Explorers that came to Nigeria. The whole point of the program was to, you know, connect, um, IT professionals from Nigeria to tech companies in Lithuania because, um, Lithuania is known to have like a fast rising, um, ICT, um, ICT industry. And I feel like it's something it has in common in Nigeria. So basically, they came to take ta tech talents, you know, they opened up a, they opened up a, um, opportunities and said, oh, apply, blah, 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 to work in Lithuania for one year. And I'm like, okay, I mean, what are the chances? I'm going to apply anyway. And I applied for this program, which is supposed to be a one year program working in an, a Lithuanian company. And I applied to be honest, I didn't think I was going to get in, but I'm glad that I did. And I came here. And basically i started my program september last year and ideally it should end this year this is september so like it's is literally wrapping up right now and um so for a while earlier this year i was in sort of limbo i also mentioned it that you know i don't know what's gonna happen after the one year i don't know if i'm ready to go back to nigeria uh or what was going to happen i know how it is with nigeria when i was going and i told my friends that i was leaving for one year they're like don't come back don't come back to nigeria there's nothing to come back to so basically i feel like nobody expected me to come back but then you know how everything went the pandemic i was really really worried like what was going to happen after my one year and yeah and it's coming to an end what is going to happen <sighs> anyway <laughs> i have some good news y'all are gonna be seeing me in lithuania for a long time for much longer because your girl is gonna be here um basically my work permits expired on the first of september and i got another okay so first of all first of all my work contracts in my company you know got extended to something more permanent so now i'm not just a one year work out which is good because now you know like i have a job and i'm so happy about it but yeah so basically you know i'm with my company now full time not just for one year and i also um my company also helped me like apply for a residency permit which i got now i have a permit to work and um, to live and work in lithuania for another two years and i'm super excited about that because it just means that i'm here i'm all in your faces talking about lithuania over and over again but yeah i'm actually really excited about that super excited about this because we had like some hiccups on the way uh i had to do some police reports thing you know like proof of um what they call it i had to do some pol police report thing and then it came back and they said it wasn't original and it had to be legalized and I had to send my documents to Ukraine. It was just a lot of things. And I'm not even going to lie. I was worried, but I'm so excited. I'm so glad that, you know, it's how good. And I'm here with you. Yeah, I know I've said that so many times, but yeah. So that's the good news I wanted to share with you guys. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys is all that has happened because as a result of YouTube, I know that I haven't been online for a while like i haven't posted videos i haven't been as consistent as i used to be and i sincerely sincerely apologize for that you know sometimes these things happen and i'm not even going to stay here and you know give excuses or give you reasons why i didn't show up i just didn't show up hopefully it doesn't happen again but anyway so many things have happened guys like 
as a result of YouTube. When I started doing YouTube, right, I, I just wanted to do it because I thought it was fun. But uh, there's money parts, you guys. Let me not even lie. One of another reason why I'm doing YouTube is money. So please, eh, please subscribe to my channel. Let me hit 1,000 subscribers and let me hit my 4k watch hours because if i don't hit it i cannot make money off it and when there is no money the motivation is low so yes i know this is not about the numbers but like i'm just telling you guys that you know the money is also important you know so i can get my camera i can get everything to give you guys like really good good video quality anyway one of the things that has happened say hi to each other hey Tella. say hi one of the one of the good things that have happened with youtube are the people that i have met met through youtube so some time ago um a, a man reached out to me after coming across my video he told me about how he had been married to a lithuanian woman for 25 years and i just found it really fascinating they live in holland but they came to lithuania for the summer and i met the family oh my god guys ah they're such like a beautiful family they were very warm very welcoming and I realized that I was able to, I was opportune to meet this beautiful family and have like, you know, a great lunch with them because of this YouTube thing. So as much as it's about money for me, like I'm not taking for granted the people that has brought my way, the people who have reached out to me, the friends I have made just because I made YouTube videos, who have reached out and encouraged me, like it means a lot to me. And also the people that I have managed to help because since I started, since I started talking about YouTube, so many people have, you know, come to um message me you know asking questions for many people it was just saying you know a nigerian or a black person in lithuania that helped them feel less scared about coming to school in lithuania or moving to lithuania and the fact that you know i can give many of you hope the fact that i can answer many of these questions the fact that just seeing me you know like makes you guys more more um confident and at ease about coming to lithuania is actually something that i don't take for granted and i'm so glad that you know i'm in a position to be this person to you guys so guys i don't take it for granted if you have ever messaged me i hope that you know i gave you the answers that you wanted the ones i could answer i answered and if you still have any questions if you come across my video if you have any questions even just to say hi guys i like when people just you know tell me hi it doesn't even have to be that you want to ask me something or you want to tell me something just say hi i watch your videos it makes me really happy and yeah it just makes me feel like you know i shouldn't stop doing this thing because it could be the one video that i refuse to make that somebody would see and find it very helpful so guys i'm all up in your faces that's why you need to help me make this money so that i can buy a gear and give you guys better quality videos okay okay oh yeah one last thing that i want to say you know how i started this video telling you guys about how i almost did not apply for this program that brought me to lithuania but here i am imagine if i did not submit that application imagine if i did not believe in myself enough to do this thing for myself i will still be in nigeria most likely because i like to say that digital explorers program is easily the easiest way i could have left nigeria and i am super grateful for this opportunity but anyway i'm just saying that if there's that thing that you want to apply for if there's that thing you want to start if it's going to be youtube if it's going to be that business please do not give up on yourself before anybody else gives up on you so please guys just do that thing you know like take the leap take the jump don't second guess yourself too much okay just do it and if you fail you fail but you know if you don't try you would never really know so the exercise i used to give myself before was that you know like if i don't try you know nobody would know if i would pass or fail or like even if, if i don't try nobody would know if i succeed or fail right and if i tried and i failed the whole world would know that i failed at something but i mean i don't think you want to always live your life like that just you know keep trying things i feel like failure is a part of life and eventually you would you would succeed that's what i think and if you if you don't you learn anyway this is not some aspire to perspire thing because i'm just telling you from my story that you would never know until you try and there are so many opportunities you could potentially have been passing up on because you did not even believe in yourself enough to try you wrote yourself off before anybody else wrote you off all i'm trying to say is that you know just do it just submit just just try just you know try that's all i'm saying um yeah so that's all i'm going to say for this vlog i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and watch my other videos and subscribe again i'm saying please subscribe to my channel please anyway yeah thank you guys for watching till the end of this video i will see you in my next video
Bye.